and welcome to this week's newsletter. This week we're going to be talking about somebody's old bag and I'm going to be describing how this ball will change your short game. Fact. So last week I said to you that you can trade in your old golf bag. Some people went a stage further and tried to trade in their partner. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but I was very, very amused. Very amused. So well done, Ian. I'm not going to tell you his second name. No, I'm not, because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be clever to do that. No, I wouldn't be wise. I certainly wouldn't be wise doing that. So yes, don't try and trade in your partner, but the promotion still stands. Trade in your golf bag with me any time between now and after, even after the weekend. I don't care, I'm so generous. You're gonna be trading in your old golf bag for a new one. Did you watch the football? I did. Billy Gilmore was amazing. And obviously because we're Scottish, then something bad had to happen. So young Billy's get COVID and no doubt some other little whippersnapper will jump up to the task and play amazing against Croatia tonight. And fingers crossed we can get through so we can have another evening of festivities. So here's me outside with my balls. Enjoy. Yep. Hello everybody, today I'm with my brand new Strixen Q-Star Tour. Hang on, there's a massive truck going by. Hi everybody, I'm outside in this beautiful sunshine with my new Strixen Q-Star Tour Ball, which is lovely designed with half colour and another half colour. Why is this good for you? Well, see when you're looking at the golf ball, you don't want to necessarily for your short game to start to tilt this ball axis too much okay because when you tilt it it basically flies like a plane and when it lands you're gonna to have to predict what it's gonna do so I would always prefer that you're getting that ball with very little tilt on it and you can see the very little tilt when you use a ball like this they're not out yet but they're coming very very soon so I advocate when you're in a bunker that you're not necessarily chopping across it because that will put a lot of tilt on that axis and then the ball will kick to one side when it lands. I'm going to show you a more straight through approach, keeping loft on it and the ball you will see will behave a heck of a lot better and you won't have to predict what happens when it hits the ground. Here it goes, one take only, that's all it took. Enjoy. <laughs> 